welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am so grateful and happy to have you here because I have a Goodwill haul for you guys. Now, it's not a lot of stuff, it's just a few items, but I do want to DIY with these, so I figured that I would show you them before I DIY with them. So, without further ado, let's jump into today's video. Okay, so like I said, I don't have many items to show you, but the items that I did pick up, I felt were really great items, especially for the price. So per usual, you guys know the drill. I'm not going to waste any time. I'm going to jump right into this haul. So out of the seven items that I got, two of the items ended up being exactly the same. And I was really excited to find both of them because I want to redo these and put these up on my front porch or wherever. I mean, they'd be really cute for tabletop decor or, you know, on your front porch on either side of the door. There's so many options for these. So they're little topiaries now. <laughs> I don't know about these florals, you guys. They're a little questionable, but I felt that it was a really good base. The little containers that they're in are really nice quality. They're heavy. Um, each of them were $6.99. So I realized in the store that these just pop out really easily. So I'm gonna pop all of this stuff out of here and give these a transformation. Now the next item that I picked up, this is not an item to DIY with. This is actually an item that I thought would look really cute on the top of my uh, cabinets. I have a lot of space on top of the cabinets and I will be decorating the top of that here soon. So I've just been picking up stuff from here and there that I think would look great up there. So I picked this up. And what this is, is an old flower sifter. Now it's broken. I'll have to put something over here to hold this on. And then um, in the inside, it's fully functional on the inside, but this piece just doesn't stay. So I thought that that was super cool and vintage. Um, I thought that it would look really, really cool with farmhouse decor. So I picked up one of those. And I do believe this was $2.99. The next item I picked up is... You can get these anywhere, you guys. This really isn't anything special. But I thought it was cool. It's already put together. It's a wood palette sign. I can paint it. There's so many different options, and I do believe that this was a dollar ninety nine. I also picked this up, and you guys are probably going to be like, Melissa, what are you thinking? But I picked this up. I don't exactly know what it is. Um, I know that it has a handle on it, and I know that it says it's a wine cellar. So I'm thinking maybe there were different bottles of wine in here. Not really too positive. However, my daughters share a room. Uh, my youngest is almost two and my oldest is six. So the two-year-old loves to mess with the six-year-old stuff. So I told her that I would make her some shelves for her bedroom. That way she doesn't have to keep 
like trying to go up high to get away from Isabella. I find her in my closet in the bathroom playing so that <laughs> so that she's up higher away from Izzy and then she just leaves the stuff wherever she's playing because she doesn't want Izzy to get to it. So I picked this up with the thought of pretty much it's put together for me. I have the slats in here to be able to just put pieces of wood to make her a shelf. So that was my idea for this. If you guys have any better ideas than that, let me know down in the comments what you would make with this. The next item I picked up is once again for my daughter. Now, I will say that they did have two of these. And I have two daughters, so I should have picked up both. I'm actually going to go get the second one because Sophia said that she did want Isabella to have one. And before you go getting all hot and bothered, let me explain to you why I only picked up the one. So Sophia just finished kindergarten. She's an amazing sister. She's super helpful to me. And for finishing kindergarten, we took her to get something at Walmart. So she picked out a doll and we ended up buying Isabella one as well because we didn't want Isabella trying to take the doll from Sophia. So we bought Isabella the same exact doll and Sophia was such a trooper about it that when I was in Goodwill, I was like, you know what? Izzy gets everything that Soph does. She's my firstborn, she's my ride or die chick and her and I have a special bond. So. I can understand as a sibling it might get a little frustrating that when you do something good your sibling gets something as well if that makes sense so my thinking was to do this up for her doll you know put her dolls name on it get it all cute for her and like this was a special thing for her for finishing kindergarten from me but when I talked to her about it last night, she said that she did want her sister to have one. So I'm going to go back to Goodwill. Hopefully they have the same exact one. So anyway, I know that was long winded, but I just wanted to tell you guys the backstory of this chair. It was $4.99. It's solid wood. It's really good quality. It looks like it was kind of made by the Amish. Um, so I picked one of those up. Fingers crossed I can get the second one. Okay friends, and last but not least, now this item is pretty good size. It's heavy, so I don't know how good my pregnant butt can hold this up, but I'll do my best for the love of you guys and DIY. No, it's not that bad. Look at this thing, you guys. Oh my God, I saw it. And I was like, I could tell from far away that this was a bigger piece. I'm going to put it down just because it's heavy. Um, I saw it and I like ran because another lady was looking at it and I saw that she had took it down off the top of the rack and then she was like playing with the drawers and she put it back. So I had been eyeing it up since she had it and I was like, I am getting that thing if she doesn't want it. Because in our kitchen, um, I don't really have very many drawers. So there's just junk in the drawers that I do have because junk drawers are just inevitable. So I picked this up with the idea of just having a few little junk drawers in the kitchen it's got slots for mail and then at the top it is perfect to decorate at the top and you know put little 
cute little decor in there. So I'm really excited to DIY that item. I think that might be my favorite item that I picked up at Goodwill. I don't always have the best luck at Goodwill. I also cannot handle the smell, you guys. Like, I can only be in there for a few minutes at a time. And then when I get the items home, I literally have to let them sit outside because I just can't handle the smell. But anyway, with all that being said, if you guys like this type of video, if you guys like thrift hauls and thrift flip videos, let me know down in the comments. That way I can bring you more content just like it. So with all that being said, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I'm so happy to have you here. I have a big goal of hitting 100K subscribers. By the time my baby is born, I am currently pregnant right now with my third baby technically it's my fourth because I have a stepson however that's neither here nor there my big goal is by the time baby boy is born in October to hit 100k so I'm working really hard to get there and I can't do it without you guys so if you enjoyed this please give it a big thumbs up Share it with your family and friends if you think that they would enjoy it as well because those thumbs up and those shares really help my channel to grow and help YouTube to notice me a little bit more. So with all that being said, you guys know the drill. If nobody has told you today, you are absolutely stunning. You are worthy. You are gorgeous. You are so strong. You can do anything you put your mind to and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Check out the videos that are popping up here to your left while you're waiting on my next upload or join the DIY fam here to your right.